talking 1984 with coach Chris Giesman and the Kingsman that year going nine and two seven and one Chris I know we talked earlier that the previous 1983 team was loaded senior dominated team so when you lose a team that accomplished the ultimate obviously there is ramifications the following year but let's just talk about how you guys transition from the state championship a lot of those kids got lots of reps during that uh, that tournament run that's Phil Tigard said the rich get richer the longer you go in the tournament the more reps your young kids get and uh, we always we went a step further we used to bring up uh, uh, maybe 20 freshmen to practice with us and uh, kind of get them acclimated the way we do things so uh, we always uh, we always stress you know to our kid make your own name you know you got to remember the past and be proud of it and represent it and you're also representing all the players are going to play your position in the years to come but let's make your own name this year and I remember kids uh, always used to uh, Ask me in the winter. They'd come up and just say, how do you think we're going to be? And we always gave the same answer. So we work so hard and our plan is so sound. Uh, we not only expect success, we deserve it. And that's kind of the way we went into it. All right, with only one, with only one potential starter coming back, did you find yourself in the off season trying to fill in those holes? Or did you open up camp saying, all right, open tryouts. We're going to figure out where everybody's going to go. How did you approach that from a from a X's and O's standpoint? Well, when we run the off season, I mean, we had ideas. It was a, it was a combination of both. We kind of had ideas who we thought would be in there, but also, I mean, we might have had three names for two guards, three names for two tackles. So, I mean, it was kind of it was kind of open too. We. Uh, we, we don't ever rule out anybody. I found out goal-oriented players uh, have ways of coming through. But uh, Claude Donati was the only only junior that started for us in the whole season. We had uh, Mike Hess start one game at quarterback when Quigley was hurt, and uh, John Hedrick started the state championship game when Tim Hans was uh, ruled out by the trainer. So, uh, but the... <laughs> Basically, Claude and I was the only junior that played, so we were uh, starting with a, basically a brand new team the next year. Was there a game along the, the the season that defined this football team that you won that he said, you know, I think we got this thing going in the right direction? Well, it was the Elkhart Central Cluster game. It was uh, the, the overtime game that uh, we won, and uh, it was tense right to the end because we scored first and missed the extra point. We had a great kicker, but he missed that one. They had a great kicker, and they had Dave Schnell at quarterback, and uh, he bombed the end zone four straight times. And uh, I didn't realize I'd turn my back on the last play till our female trainer Becky Cops said, "Coach, open your eyes. We just won." <laughs> so uh, anyway, I mean, and we knew Elkhart was uh, a real good team, and they knew we knew they were the stumbling block. And as it turned out, they were the best team we played all year. As it turned out, you had several young men make the all NIC team. Scott Warner it was a was the tackle, uh, defensive end. Claude Donati, you mentioned him. Tim Hoffman, the tackle. Uh, Mike, uh, you're talking '84. '84, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're talking '84. Or uh, Todd Snyder, uh, John Hendrick, uh, Mike Hess, you mentioned, and John Graham. Those guys. What did you like about that group of young men? Well, it was uh, the thing I liked about them. They didn't. Uh, yeah stand on the laurels of the past. They didn't, uh, you know, strut around. We're the defending state champs. We always say, uh, we stress every year, we're not defending anything. We're attacking. We're going after one for you guys. And uh, and they, uh, you know, Penn kids have always been hungry. I mean, as hard as they work in the off season, they just don't have time to slack when the season gets there. All right. Anything else that you can think of that we need to touch base with 1984? No, it's just that uh, uh, it's the lesson that I learned from 1980 that I mentioned earlier. We never used the word rebuilding at all, even though that's basically what it was when you only have one starter back. 
but we felt like that, uh, you know, we always like to play seniors when we can, and we felt like that we had the, the numbers were now good, and that we had good enough players to be very successful every year. So the one thing I will say that uh, we are proud of as coaches, never mentioned the word rebuilding once.